Three years ago during HoopFest, Matt Brown of the software consulting company Ransdale Brown decided the world's largest three-on-three -three tournament needed its own app. So he developed the prototype and HoopFest gave the local company the contract. We know the tournament and we could, we could speak the language of HoopFest, which is it's all about the tournament, all out trying to manage your time. And in just two years since the app went live, it's become essential for players, parents, and spectators. It's really done a nice job of, of you know, giving people, first of all, the information that they need, but also in a fun way. Executive Director Matt Santangelo says the what if feature is especially useful. What if we win at 10 and lose at 1230 and win? And what about Tommy's team and Lisa's team and being able to follow all the teams, I think, is, is a great tool and you can easily share that information in a text message or an email. It used to be that you just get cross streets for your court location, but the app can pinpoint your court to within just a few feet, which is especially useful when you're in a parking lot like this one. 50 feet that way, turn right, your court's gonna be on the corner. I think that's huge, obviously, because site is so big and there's so many courts. Need to find a restroom or maybe the x-ray tent? The app has GPS locations for everywhere you might need to find. Santangelo says HoopFest is now more efficient in how it interacts with the cloud and the Wi-Fi capacity downtown. With all these people trying to refresh and refresh and refresh, we've gotten better about how to troubleshoot some of those things. And the ultimate goal for the app is to provide real-time scoring for every game. You can really follow teams and have a really up-to-date kind of picture of what, the, what that team is doing. And considering how far the app has come in just two years, it may not be too far off. For Maine the Northwest, I'm Derek Dice. KXOI 4 News.